Hi there, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the GTA 300% run. This is the taxi fares. Now, like me, San Andreas, version 2.0 run I've been doing recently, guys. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to show out all 100 fares because what's the point? You know what I mean? It's just so dull. It's literally just driving up and down. I think I'll show the first few fares and the last few. And you get the idea, you know, I can, as long as I show that I've done all 100, um, that shouldn't be no problem. Now, taxi missions in this game do not do them Shoreside Vale because there's no in-game map. It's just really troublesome, uh, you know, you can never quite tell what side of Shoreside they're on and there's only really a couple of roads that access the side of the map. The map's in Shoreside, it's kind of split in two. And it's just it's just annoying. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend doing these in Portland and Staunton. I'm probably going to try and do about 50 a piece on each of them. The earlier in the game, the better, of course, because you won't have gangs shooting you. Uh, you know, some factor of short side has said uh, the cartel will shoot at you, and they have strong weapons. I do have the triads on me right now. Um, but there was no real point in starting them early on. Right now in game, actually in between missions of uh, Tony and Joey. I've just finished Joey's missions, I'm about to start Tony's. Uh, oh, the greasy cafe. Right, it's, it's this way. Uh, but yeah, uh, there's not much more to say, guys. Uh, when you do 100, you get a special zebra cab, I think. Uh, which is pretty sick, to be fair. It'll prompt me. Oh, there's bosses there. I need to remember that. Or coaches. I forgot about the coach company. Yeah, I just need coaches for um, import export. Um, you get, a, I assume you get a bonus of for every five fares that you do. So do try and do them in a row if you want money. And this for sure is easy money if you want to do them at the start of the game and build your cash up. But uh, again, like I said previously, you don't really need to concern yourself with money on this game. Because you get more than enough money. You get money for every time a car's blown up. And the pedestrians seem to drop a lot of money on this. You get a lot of money for missions passed on this game compared to later games. Um, it's just really, really easy, guys. It's just, it's not even like a failable mission, you know what I mean? Because you can just do them again and again. As long as you do 100 fares, you never have to even do them in a row. So uh, I think at this point, I might as well finish the first five. Because there's only one more to go. And it's a bit of a milestone. We all see whether there is a cash bonus for doing five. Again, that might just be later games. Then I think I'm literally going to cut to the last fair or the last couple of fairs. This actually hasn't been the greatest RNG for Portland. Portland, I'd say, is better than Staunton because it's smaller um, and easier to navigate. But Staunton, for sure, it does have wider roads. And there is actually a trick as well, guys, I should say which is uh, possible. If you press R3 to start the missions um, of taxi fares, but you hold R3 in, then get out of your car and get in another one, like a Banshee, for instance. You can do the taxi missions in a Banshee. We do get five in a row bonus. We're not going to do this in a Banshee. We'll stick to the taxi, as nature intended. I'm probably going to do these in a series of bursts of about 20. I'll do five bursts of 20 fares. Oh well, as long as my taxi doesn't get destroyed, these taxis are quite weak. There we go. Wow, really? I'm not even smoking my past... Alright, it will let me pick up another one, but I'm glad that happened, I suppose, before I cut out, because it's something I didn't say yet. Your fares can flee if um, you smash up your shit too much. I'm going to see if I can pick up another one, which is a triad, ironically. Yeah, he's saying the car's trashed. It's not even actually that beat up, but there is a um, paint spray icon over there. It's probably not even worth it, guys. You might as well just drive around waiting for your next cab, then pick that up. But that is it. That's all I'm going to say for now, guys. I'll just show the last couple of fares, then the stats at the end to prove that I did drop off 100 passengers.
checking the stats then guys, it's the last pair. I'm smoking, it might be difficult to do this. Wherever we go. Ammunition and red light, oh that's possible. So just there on the left is the Trenton Taxi Company, we'll head there afterwards. This is the sketchy bit, the way may well be mafiosi here. And triads are out here, but now we're good. Lovely stuff. So there we go, 100 fair done. We get a pager. Bigger, faster, harder, stronger. New Borgenine taxis open for business in Harwood. In Harwood? Oh, is it the other company? It's not the Trent one. Alright, fair enough. Let's go back. Shit. Let's put this thing on. Just ditch the taxi. Let's take this bobcat. So, all I have left now to do on this file is USJs, guys, then uh, I'll start my other file. Spam off cam through any percent up until the point of unlocking the ice missions, and I'll just add them on at the end of the run. Because we had the purple nines glitch on this save, sadly, so we can never, it was impossible to actually get 100% in this save. But the playlist will include everything that you need for 100%, so I'll take that. Um, so, talk to you over here. If I recall, the Fog 9 Taxi Company. Right. Oh, there it is. Yes, boys. I went to the wrong place last run then. I went to Trenton. It's actually like a cabby thing, but there it is. I don't think it has any, any other benefits to be honest. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna store it. I don't know if it ever appears again. It does look pretty cool to be fair. Though. Yeah, like on San Andreas you have nitrous. Um, I think on Vice City your taxi can jump with L3. Oh, I have a vehicle in there already, apparently. Just a Karuma. I can go. So there we go guys, we have stored the Borg 9, uh, yeah just make sure you do store it just in case.